Beth just gave me the thumbs up, so I think that means we're live. Thank you guys for joining us this Tuesday at 7. I'm entitling this Lockdown Week Number 1. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to just kind of sit here. Beth is behind the camera tonight. Thank you, Beth, for arming that camera and watching people come on and, and also... Keep an eye on comments and such. Beth is going to jump out and share this as well. You'll see that Beth is tagged and Tim Heron is tagged, and we're going to talk about why that's happening. We encourage you to share this as well. It is a weird time, I must say. I think uh, if you're a creative, you're finding this time of solitude as probably one of two things maybe just complete opposites, polar opposites. You might find it a time of inspiration and a time of day you're doing some more work, maybe some writing some music, some lyrics, some book, you're journaling, you're painting. And then there's others that I think isolation is a time of kind of lack of energy, probably um, you're not hungry, you're bored. <laughs> Our pantry has been open more in this past like a week and a half than I think it's been opened up in, in the last week. If you're like us, then your pantry's getting open or people are checking out those munchies. But I hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna give it a few minutes before jumping in. This has been a, uh, um, it's been weird, right? I mean, that's, a, that's an understatement. I'd be interested in finding out if you're working on something, if, if you're finding this alone time, an opportunity to, to work on some projects or to get some things done. There's also, I think, been some innovations. I've seen some artists out there that are finding some opportunity to create some work and to sell it. And we support our local artists. And we certainly support those in the Tuesday at 7 Facebook. I mean, we support everybody, but certainly those in the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group. If you're not part of that, join if you'd like. We approve all members, so feel free to invite your friends. You know, if you go to the Facebook and you hit invite, it allows you to choose your friend list from your friends list and invite one, two, or three people, or more for that matter. But what we're envisioning with 287, it's people say, well, what is it? Well, several years ago, I just pressed the live button before I really knew what was gonna happen, and and uh, two and a half years later or so, we're, we're still doing it. It's a social experiment. I think it's to see what happens when we can align creatives in the same direction. Maybe when we can all put our oars in the water or perhaps when we find ourselves networked together, what we can do. A lot of, a lot of folks are in the Ohio area, but there's folks all over the country. We have some folks even tuning in from other, other countries as well. And so as Beth is on the laptop and as we're kind of honing in here, do you have a chance to share that, Beth? Yes. Perfect. You want to pull up a chair? <laughs> no, I've been sitting it, all day. I'm going to stand a little bit. That thing is really sitting. low. I don't know what it is. Do you want is me it because it? I'm sitting low? No, I mean, it's okay. I just... It does feel low, but it's not as low as you think it is. You know what's funny is every single time that Craig arms that, uh, that camera... Well, he's like a foot and a half taller than I am. I know, so. but Craig, like, he spends the whole time on his knees. And we're always like, are you all right? And he's like, oh, good. I'm good. And uh, We'll get him you... some Tuesday at 7 knee pads. Oh, yeah. I like it. We can paint them for him. Yeah. Well, I mean, Craig has been phenomenal at helping us. Uh, Beth, you're behind that camera often. Joe Gall. He went ahead and bought and donated the, the microphones, and so this might be loud. And so this little mic, and there's a mic back there. It's because Joe uh, donated to our audio cause. Yay. And we had some tripods and some lighting. But any, anyways, I think uh, today what we want to do is to uh, start off, we're going to draw two... Totally awesome. We've given away a lot of great stuff, and this is great stuff too. And this is probably more. This is more names than we've ever had in a hat. It's like 
Well, we've never given away an airbrush before. Well. A fancy an air, special. Not only an airbrush, but it's a Robert, Robert Kurtzman. Kurtzman airbrush. It's Pache, mm -hmm. single action, but thank these are workhorses. Al, Al, thank you. I'm gonna open it up so we can tease everybody. So there's gonna be a winner of this, and we're not gonna pull on because some people might just want to see who the winner is and mm -hmm. check out, and that's okay too. So, airbrush. We it's. Uh, it says Robert Kurtzman. Oh yeah. I don't know how many of these were made, but it's certainly a special edition. And Al had next one of these around. And then you know what I did today? It is totally selfish and totally, um, totally immature of me. But I've been wearing the <laughs> Stan Winston t-shirt. Is that the shirt he was I'm wearing it. Because Are we going to wash it before we give it away? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing it on like top of two layers. <laughs> I do not want... So, you as you see, this is not touching my my Corona skin, and uh, can you that see is it? Definitely can you see it? You, you, I, I'm now, not trying to show yeah. my butt. Can you see it? You, you, yes, that's better. You so, kind of showing your twerking a little. All right, sorry guys. So, anyways, uh, the Stan Winston limited edition shirt. This came from Al. He had two, and so this is a used T-shirt. But what's cool about it was used <laughs> by somebody who worked in the studio. The Tuscus right. family, yeah, and that makes it totally cool. And so we can commemorate this uh, by be wearing it, and I will pack it carefully and send it off to the winner. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit after after we get this stuff away and see what you guys are, are thinking about. You probably have seen that last week we connected with Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. I'm going to slow down every single time I say that. No. Because I don't want to. And, uh, and, and I tagged Tim here because today came this package. And we have not opened it. And this package is full of original artwork. And so we're going to open that here today. We're going to talk about um, 287 and kind of portrait Fridays for the next few weeks. And they can go to Tim's interview from yeah. two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Tuesday at 7 on Facebook um, or YouTube mm -hmm. and look up Tim, and then you'll get all the background about that too. Yeah, and, and YouTube, and we put it out there, we do not have the Al Tuskus interview. Usually you don't move it up. We don't upload it to YouTube until after the week's over. Uh, so that has not been uploaded to YouTube. And neither has uh, this past Friday draw session. We should probably get Tim's blessing there before moving out to YouTube. Yeah. But uh, but we're gonna. Yeah. YouTube, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's uh, everything that we that we do. Well, not everything, but most things that we do here on, on Tuesday at seven on Facebook. We also do. Uh, we also upload to YouTube because it's easier to search there. I think. Roger Mitchison is watching. Oh, Mitchison. Roger, number three. How are you doing? And I know there's other folks jumping in. But uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go through the list of folks that we've interviewed. Do you want to pull the name first or do that first? Um, are you taunting people? Yeah, I'm taunting people. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of people who want the airbrush. I think there's more people who want the shirt than the airbrush. <laughs> I That's think. Right. I don't know. Anyways. One of the things we're thinking about is doing a watch party, getting uh, a couple updates from some of these artists because it's, it's been many months since we interviewed some of these. We interviewed Neil Zaza. He is a phenomenal melodic guitarist. He, his uh, US tour got canceled, or the second half of it got canceled, the second part of it. Well, the first part got canceled. The second half, I think, is going to be rescheduled because that oh. was going to be later in the year. Anyway, so he'll still be, as far as I know, he'll still be touring mm -hmm. in the U.S. And then hopefully they can reschedule the dates for the last month or so. So Neil was our very first interview on mm -hmm. Tuesday at 7. Special. Jerry Schmidt, he's a metal sculptor. Phenomenal talent. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a bunch of his artwork here. We're not going to run you around our house, but we have, what, four? Four pieces mm -hmm. outside and inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe five. 
Greg DeFibba, who was a, a mentor of mine for special effects, we did an interview with him. That was awesome to, to reconnect with, with Greg. Yep. Judy Keen, mm -hmm. glass artist. Ted Sakura, who is a great uh, director. He also does great artwork. He is uh, uh, the creative force behind Apama mm -hmm. and Tap Dance Killer, which are two graphic novels or comics. Mm -hmm. James and Janet, J-A-N-E-T, Mummy and the Monkey. We also interviewed Jeremiah and Andrea, who talked about circus life. These are two people who are in the circus. Like we actually met real circus people. These are circus people. Yep. And it was a phenomenal interview. Uh, great energy and great stories there. Oh yeah. That might be worth a watch party because that one was that was fun. I mean, a lot of all these are really worth watch parties. At Douglas Midnight Syndicate, we did that right before Halloween. The Sound of October. Dot Von Schneider. She mm -hmm. uh, was writing for C Magazine, and she's a an artist, somebody that I've known growing from growing up. Richard Stitch Thomas of Mushroom Head. Mm -hmm. That was a great one. That was very good. That was a great one. And then I then I had the opportunity to see Ventana for the very first time. Which yeah, was good. with like a week or so later. later. That you was awesome. Craig went. Yeah, Deb Cheryl, paint Yay, pourer. Deb. I call her uh, a an alchemist. I think that's a good way to describe her because she has that like. Nurse, we nursing. Could, we steam coming up from her. Yeah, we, we ought to get her a uh, like a, a brew set. kettle. A brew kettle and yeah. some uh, dry ice and. Yeah. That'd be great because she is she has that feel to her and uh, and she's a great person to know. We had a Gen X Y Z studio night. Then we had Jimmy Langa. Yes. A Kringle. So amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's uh, we're gonna have to have him like every single year. Yes, right before the holidays. Connect with him and, yep. and what he's doing because there's some great stuff out there at the Kringle Inventionasium. Rex B. Hamilton, which is the world's longest running improv haunt actor. Yep. House, David Greathouse, interview with him. He's done some phenomenal stuff and, uh, and that'd be a great one to return to. Jerky McJerkinson, gallerist, artist, free thinker. He has some, <laughs> his art exchange. A little bit of everything. Oh my gosh, his art exchange uh, virus oh, game. Oh yeah, it was great. That thing might go for big money in some type of. It could, I don't we know. don't know, become Some a collector's item. Beth Demansky and yeah. Marcus Photography. Yep. She's our war writer. She's a stage four cancer fighter and, uh, and our prayers go out to her. Um, and she's, she is a phenomenal positive Person. And so she was, we spent an hour okay. or so with her here in the living room. We had Joel. Oh, before Joel, we had Matt Seal. Of yes. course, Yay. we've known Matt forever, but we actually tapped into Matt's tattoo art at King Crow Tattoo. Joel Bergner, phenomenal effects artist, customer, actress, model. Jim Cermak, podcaster, author, consultant. We then had Tim Heron, and we went down to his his uh, studio. Beth is looking at stuff. Hopefully, Sorry. we're we're all right. Yep. So we were at Tim Heron's studio, and we talked about pretentious Cleveland portrait artists, which were we've connected with here for a few weeks. We had Brandon Kimber, documentary filmmaker. That's that story was all over the place from uh, Murder in the Park, White Boy oh. Rick. American Gospel. I mean, the, the, the story of yeah. kind of life being on the line. And, and I, I can't wait because I haven't seen the, the, the murder in the park and, and White Boy. Um, and I'm looking forward to watching those documentaries. Mark, Did you watch them? Mark Foran won the, uh, those documentaries, by the way. We all still have them, but we're not going to unwrap them. What's that? Did you, did you do all four in one? All four in one. Nice. Oh my gosh. All four in one. So oh we're going to get that out to, to Mark. Uh, Carrie Esther, Make a Madhouse. Phenomenal talent. Oh, she's doing some, she's doing some like uh, original artwork on demand and sending it out. Mm -hmm. Do you see Teresa and Neil bought some? I did. The cat one. The cats? Yep. Because they love their putties. Yeah. Oh, and, and their, their cats show up in that Neil Zaza interview. Yes. Well, what's, um. What's her black cat's name? Chanel. 
Chanel was like, comes up and was that, yeah, was hanging yeah. out with me the whole time, which yeah. is which is totally awesome. We had Frank Chaff. He is a theater director. Three hundred and I remember oh. f- fifty eight, sixty eight shows. And that was just a guess. It was a guess, and he was underestimating. Yeah. Um, these are all great, and then we had Al Tuskis last week, and I don't think I forgot anybody because I I went in and, and checked, but. If you go to Facebook, you just put T U E S D X sign seven up in the search bar. You can get to these. If you go to YouTube I'll put and seven search, up. what's that? We'll put seven up. What? You said put seven two at seven up in the search bar. Oh, yeah, seven up in the search bar. It's T U E S at sign seven. Put it in the search bar. Or you can go ahead and watch it on YouTube as well. Um, we're going to be talking just a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope folks are signing in. Mm-hmm. But I know that... Uh, should we get the t-shirt or the airbrush away first? Oh, the t-shirt. Everybody is like excited because you're wearing it and they think it's hilarious. Um, Jill also said that it sounded like romper room while you were listing all the people that you've been <laughs> interviewing. <laughs> Was around for room where they had that uh, they yes. had that thing and they were like I, see, I Billy, see Jill and Bobby and, Bobby, and, and they never called Jerky. <laughs> nice. All right, so, so can you guys see how many? I mean, this thing is brimming over. There's a whole bunch oh. of shares. I think there were like 45 shares. That's a lot. Of it. Yeah, so a whole a whole bunch. Um, I'm, I'm not. Are they sticking out? Too? No. Oh, good. They're not sticking together, but you do have to choose just one. You want to reach in and give us a four shot. And then. Oh, yeah, that is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thing. What are we giving away first? The t shirt. Okay, t shirt first. All right, so who wants to win a used t shirt? <laughs> Richard Stano. Richard, congratulations. <laughs> no, no. Desc- uh oh. All right, Richard. Describe what the t-shirt is again. So the t-shirt, for those who are watching, this was a t-shirt that Al received too. One for him and one for his wife as they were working for the Stan Winston Stan Winston Studio. And uh, he had two of them and he decided to give one away because I think it's a great uh, collector's item and a cool item. So, Richard, I will be sure to fold this nicely. <laughs> And send it to you. <laughs> I think we just lost legitimacy by giving away a t-shirt, a t-shirt. That you're wearing while we're. <laughs> I know, but think about it this way, because there's a there's a rainbow behind every uh, rain Used cloud. T-shirt. Well, somebody's going to want to know, like, where did it come from? Is it legitimate? And so, like, if it goes American Pictures or something like that, in uh, many years, you can say we can document this and trail it back to Al Tuskis, who is an Emmy award winning makeup, makeup artist. artist. That's true. And so had it not been wearing it, it probably wouldn't have been. And Al says, and you can't get them anymore. Al, thank you. Because these are crooked. I know, absolutely. This, this, oh, I'm sorry, but I wore your shirt. <laughs> I guess it's not your shirt anymore. It's now Richard. Sorry. Richard. <laughs> sorry, Richard. All right. Okay. See what being locked down does to one? <laughs> See what happens? Oh yeah, wait, before we take this one. Oh yeah. For those folks who are just signing in. Um, I've had some, I've gotten some people text me, private message me saying, I've always wanted an airbrush. Ta-da. And not only do you want it, it it's not just any airbrush, it's a Robert Kurtzman limited edition airbrush. And this Robert was provided. Kurtzman. Yeah, this was provided by, by Al. It has really, all you need to do is Plug this thing into a compressor and spray away, and you're going to be a uh, yep. What, got whatever, an artist. Of time to learn the skills. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the directions here. Al was when he brought these two things out. I was like, I know. Are you sure you want to give those away? And he said, Yeah. He's generous. Thank you, Al, for sharing your stories and your yes. All right. All right. She's uh, from the bottom. I don't even know if you guys can see. Well, I don't want anyone to think that there were any. Okay, the winner of the airbrush is <gasps> Mike Hack. Congratulations, Woo! Mike. You guys are uh, you guys are winners today. 
Uh, truly, thank you for everybody who shares our videos, uh, shared the video last week as well. We hope that uh, during this crazy time you're finding some opportunity to um, be creative, right? Yep. We have some, uh, some reactions out there. Sorry, folks. I know, who I did feel bad. But Mike and Richard, you guys are big winners today. You are winners. You are winners. But uh, before we jump off, so the next few weeks, uh, we might do a watch party. We might get a couple, a couple updates. But if you guys have any ideas, throw them out there now or throw them out there later. Even if it's you're like, hey, let's try another demo. This channel began actually as special effects demo. Mm -hmm. And we had a number of people tuning in from week to week, and I was doing some special effects demos, latex. Uh, a lot of it was just more simple stuff. I wasn't doing sculpting and casting. We haven't done face casts or anything like that. But it was... Did we, did we not do Carrie's face cast? Not on... I mean, we took pictures of it, oh, but yeah, we didn't... That's true. We didn't uh, do that as a Tuesday at 7. But we may do some other simple... We did a bunch of cheats. Mm -hmm. Makeup cheats. Uh, we did crepe hair and gelatin and latex and painting and and everything. We might go back to something like that, mm -hmm. maybe. So that's a possibility. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know. We could do those again. Uh, share out or do those watch parties and get updates from artists too. But uh, if nothing else, you guys have also seen that we've been. Who's that? Neil. Hey, Neil. How you doing? We miss you. We know that he's got he's got some magic brewing oh, in yeah. that uh, in his, his guitar music fingers room. and his music brain are going. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. I've actually spent more time creatively in the last week and a half than I have in probably the last several months. Which is saying something for you. Which is really good. Yeah, because I'm stir crazy and I'm gonna take this yeah. time to, to do some stuff. But the reason why I'm bringing this out was last Friday. We well, Tim Heron was a guest of ours a few weeks ago. Tim is somebody for a great artist, and he is the originator of the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. He's been doing it every single week for like 14 years. It's a group of artists that get together to do portrait drawings, some people paint. There's some folks who use mixed mediums, and a few that will sculpt. And after the COVID-19 virus, they were talking about just going dark. And I was like, why don't we just combine forces and let's just do it from here. And, and it worked last week. And so if you go back to Tuesday at 7, we haven't uploaded to YouTube, but you can do some portrait drawing. I mean, you can do it live as well. And we do it, we'll do it live this Friday at 7.30. And then we're just going to go week to week and see where we're at. But... Tim came over today and dropped off original artwork, and we haven't opened it up yet. And so we wanted to do that here live so you guys could see some of this awesome work. Beth was the, the model, and so these pictures, this original artwork is of her. And do you want to come over here and open these, or do you want me to? Do it. All right, well, come over here. Okay. Want to sit here next to me? Okay. Get my Tuesday 7 cup. Mindy, thank you. Yes. Hi, everybody. All right. All right. So I have, I have seen pictures of these because Tim shared them all on Facebook, but seeing them live. So this was um, oh, Brian Pierce who was working with Tim Heron, and he did this drawing of Tim sketching me on his giant 70-inch television while Brian had it on the laptop, and so he did that uh, the whole time. We, we did four half-hour sessions, yeah. and would take a 15-minute break in between because my butt was falling asleep. So, wow, phenomenal stuff, and then we also have... From the memory yeah. pad, yeah, great artwork. So, and I don't, 
I can't read everybody's every everybody if you go to Tim Heron's Facebook page and also a lot of these were posted on the Tuesday at 7 uh, Facebook page and so the artists um, are tagged uh, in the, the uploaded photos that they did so I can't necessarily read the artists from here but I do have them saved and Tim tagged everybody to make sure that everybody got credit for their incredible artwork so Whoa. this was just absolutely beautiful that's gorgeous and we want to make sure we're careful and it was neat to see some were pastel some are like this one looks like colored pencil um pat phillips did this it looks like colored pencil i don't have the same experience that roger does but it just absolutely blows me away it is way different. This is phenomenal artwork, folks. It's it's different when you see it in person than the, the oh. image is phenomenal, but oh, yeah. see it in person adds a whole it's nother just gorgeous. Yeah. So my family's gonna have to have pictures of me all over the place. Oh, this was our bonus piece. We're so excited about this. So I is is this the friend that was sitting with Tim? I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I think this is Brian. No. This is somebody else. But at some point during the interview, Roger was holding Bowie because he was barking. Yeah, and Bowie's so we our... didn't just get a portrait of me, we got a portrait of our poodle Bowie. And so this like just thrilled us to no end. So this one is getting uh, done even more uh, I'm mean, just as excited about framing this as I am any of the other stuff. Um, so. Oh, that's Larry. Larry? That right here. Oh, Larry Zuzik. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love it. And I love mine, too. I love the wow. colors on that. The, the colors are just gorgeous. So we'll put those back. Thank you. There's a lot here. Here's another one. This is... Um, Again, I pets are I they're all tagged on Facebook. But so everybody was just sitting at home and they had their setups in front of their iPad or they were casting to their television or um, Cassie was doing it off of her iPhone, I think, and doodling on office supplies. I mean, just the stuff that people accomplished. Doing this on screen was incredible. And and what great rich talent from these portrait artists. And if we did the math, I mean we're talking they've been doing hundreds and oh, hundreds yeah. of, of photos or portraits rather. Oh this is one. I don't remember his last name. But just absolutely stunning, stunning pieces. Wow. It's like yeah. Christmas. It's like Christmas. You want me to? I'll move them. Okay. I'm going to put it back in. Yeah, just sit right on top of her okay. right now. I'll just move this side this way. This is a vintage 1980s envelope. <laughs> so, for those, that, as Beth is opening this, we're going to be hosting Tim's and uh, that art group, the pretentious Cleveland portrait artist. We're going to be doing that live this Friday at 7.30. There's already an invite out there, so feel free to join us. I love, I love this. I, I love the pink yeah. paper. Yeah, absolutely. Hold that There's another one in here. Beautiful. And as you can see, there's... Uh, there's. This is a husband and wife. We're working together. Yeah. Thank you guys for this wonderful artwork. We know this is not just hours of drawing and, and such, but this is decades of, of honed experience and we're grateful that you're sharing it with us and sharing it with just kind of the rest of the world through oh, yeah. through uh, the Facebook page and Tim's Facebook page and, uh, and the website as well. But this Friday, we're welp welcoming you to join us as well. I think this was done on 
uh, tablet. I'm not entirely sure. I know some of them were done on tablets, like a bamboo or an iPad or something like that. And um, I just love all the different unique styles. That's one thing about the, um, the portrait and knowing that you have potentially 40 artists all working and every single one looks different and stunning in its own way. Yeah, and so for the artists out there, Tim, so if you could tag folks in here so that, mm -hmm. uh, or type in their names so that we can give them their proper. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, they're tagged on the, the photos yeah. are tagging them on Facebook and both on the Tuesday at seven, a couple are on yours and the others are on Tim Heron's uh, yeah. page. He's got an album from last week. And uh, this is Olga, one of my favorites, watercolor, just absolutely lovely and guys if you're at all interested go back to that tim heron interview because yes. oh and here's tim's here's work tim heron i love his color oh. palettes oh he's so got, excited he's thank you tim style. but go to that tim heron interview and listen to that story because it's a great story it is and uh and i think the story of many of the artists who have been been painting and portrait drawing uh, alongside uh, Tim in that group are really, I think it's kind of inspiring me to, to do some more portrait drawing yeah. here. And thank you guys for, thank you Tim for going and gathering this work from all over the, the city and for delivering it to us today as well. From six feet away. Yeah, six feet away. Yep, we kept our distance. All right, well guys, uh, we appreciate, it's been about a half hour, we appreciate you spending this half hour with us here on Tuesday. Beth is going to take a look to see if there's any comments or questions that are out there that are worth bringing up. Uh, throw us some suggestions as to what you'd like to see over the next few weeks. Remember on Fridays at 7.30, at least this Friday at 7.30, we're going to do another portrait session. We're going to have a live portrait. So. Have your laptop, uh, some folks cast it to their television. They had their drawing pads and it was uh, a great time. So we're gonna do that this Friday and probably do it for a few weeks is, is my guess. Um, give us some ideas and we'll take that into consideration and see what we can do for Tuesdays at seven. At very least, if, if nothing else, we're gonna do a watch party and do some updates with folks too as, as we watch their interviews. Do you want to drop any hints about, so we've had to delay some of your oh. interviews and maybe not necessarily say names, but drop some hints about the ones that have been rescheduled and so we'll be coming up when everything normalizes again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and so sometimes catching creative people and tying them down in a week is a difficult thing. And, that's, and, and part of that is the reason why I don't always announce Who's going to be here? Because sometimes that changes uh, last minute because we have folks that are busy and on the move and on set and doing movie work and and doing conventions and, and all kinds of great stuff. But this past week, Mike Rao of Tazo Glass, mm -hmm. or actually tonight, was we were going to do his interview. Beth is a avid glass collector and. Mike does uh, has a glass blowing studio here in North Royalton, yep. and it is a phenomenal studio. So this is a vase that that I bought Beth for Christmas. We have a bunch of Mike's uh, glass here, so because he's blowing glass, uh, but he's a phenomenal artist as well. So he has a, a small gallery at his glass studio. Mm -hmm. Next week, the following week, who was scheduled was J.P. Hahn. He's a stuntman and an actor. And I think that uh, he's worked on a lot of bigger budget movies as well, but we're gonna talk about stunting and, and acting. Um, so we're gonna reschedule JP as well, and then... We're working on a ballet dancer mm -hmm. to try and, Tuesdays are hard for him, but we're yeah. gonna try and uh, figure something out so that we can talk about that art. Right. Um, we, we also, Jeannie James, who taught at Kent State, and she is a, a fabric. She weaves and she nice. does costuming and she worked there at the College of Design. And so she was on the, the schedule as well. So we're gonna be rescheduling those folks. Now there are 
folks that are already scheduled into May into June that hopefully we'll be back and meeting with those folks and to schedule those others out there too if they're available. But uh, yeah, great idea. Thank you Beth, for mentioning that. Any other last minute questions? Just let us know. I, we don't care if it's here on Tuesday or if it's the next week or even if it's a few weeks away. If you have any ideas, throw them out because we just might do it. Yep. And thank you, Al Tuscus. Two great giveaways. We've got our big winners. Richard, the cool t-shirt. <laughs> My pogo hack, you got the airbrush. And uh, and we're all winners for being able to see <laughs> Alan Tus Al's Tuscus's interview last Heck week. Yeah. Thanks, Tim Heron. Thanks, pretentious Cleveland portrait artists for allowing us to tag along for a few weeks. Grab your paper, grab your pencils or your pastels or your paints this Friday at 7.30. Join us again. Even if, you know, we had a... Uh, um, Debbie, who was in the artist way with yeah. Deb Sherl and I, mm -hmm. was drawing, and, she, cool. and it is a new experience for her. Oh, good! And so it doesn't matter what your talent level is, and if you feel um, that uh, that this work is is daunting, um, it is to me because these are this is phenomenal stuff. Yes. But uh, but there's no because we're you're drawing from your own home. Oh, there's did one because I got inspired and so I decided to are you bringing it all right Beth brought Beth uh, is not a life drawer no but she is starting and so she no, start covering your face yeah. up. she was working on this and so she's starting her portrait drawing journey as well yeah. and so uh, we hope that you'll find inspiration and do that as well and, and again if you're bored join us I think that's it Guys, um, you guys have been blessed with talent. We, we hope that you're using it and sharing it. And uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Six feet away. Six feet away. Social distancing. Uh, Don't eat all the snacks at the same time. Yeah. You're bored. You're not hungry. And <laughs> you're bored. You're not hungry. Um, Take this time to uh, find your creative mojo. Um, tap into your muse. Write, sketch, take photos, and uh, and we we wish you luck in this lockdown. Uh, hope to see you Friday, and if not, we'll tune in again next week, Tuesday at seven. Yep. Guys, God bless. Bye. Bye.